Dr. Herbert Benson has spent 30 years traveling the globe, studying the world's most accomplished meditators. Using modern technology, Benson is trying to understand how meditation appears to reverse the body's natural stress response. What we are finding is that for centuries upon centuries, people had discovered that there's something they could do to counteract the harmful effects of stress. Benson named it the relaxation response. It's the body's innate ability to lower blood pressure, reduce heart rate, and slow breathing. We are fortunate that we have within us a response opposite to the fight or flight response. That is the relaxation response. And there are scores of techniques. But in all of them, two steps are needed. The first is a repetition, a word, a sound, a movement. The second is freeing your mind of thought by concentrating on that repetition. and everyone can do it. The relaxation response can be triggered by all kinds of activity, from the repetition of a prayer to the primal beat of dancing. Even the rhythm of exercise can reverse the harmful effects of stress. So how does it work? At an MRI facility in Boston, Herbert Benson's colleague, Sarah Lazar, is looking inside the brain for an answer. Her subject is a Tai Chi master, Ramel Rones. He has over 20 years of meditation experience. Ramel has been fitted with equipment to monitor his body temperature and breathing. What are we doing now? We're going to do the meditation scan now. So you're going to lie there quietly for a few minutes, and then you're going to begin the meditation. As Ramel begins his meditation, the MRI scanner takes a series of snapshots inside his brain. Over the next 10 minutes, Ramel will try to empty his mind of thought. What I was trying to do is focus on my breath slowly because the breath is nothingness, is empty, is a vacuum. And by doing that, you try to empty your mind from any worries and thoughts and hopefully reach a, a, a deep level of relaxation. 